Welcome to part two in our series, The Hunt for Black Diamonds. Back in Provence, if we're gonna dig up these tasty truffles, we'll need a truffle hunter and a couple of good noses attached to some enthusiastic dogs. Expecting a few hounds, perhaps? Nope. We need sniffers much closer to the ground and specially trained. Pupus, who's the mother, and she's a nine going 10, and Mirabel, who's, who's the daughter, and she's four going five. And it's always good to have two dogs because they don't always work in the same temperature environment. So it's good to have two. And Mirabel is going to have a puppy this winter. So she's going to be a third generation of truffle hunters going on. And you'll see when we go truffle hunting, Pupus, she's old, but she's wise. So she saves our energy for finding the truffle and getting the treats. When Mirabel is still a bit wild and she goes around and runs a lot. Or sometimes doesn't hunt at all. <laughs> so. This is Jean-Marc, our truffle hunter. He doesn't speak much English, but he knows all the key words to finding truffles. Dog, c'est dire dog. Oui. Dog. Et fly. Et fly. <laughs> Et mouche. Et pig. Pig. Pig, oh sorry, c'est cochon. Truffles grow on the roots of mostly oak trees. We head out to get a little background on why truffles are so hard to find and so valuable, starting with a crash course in growing them. Growing truffles. So the criteria that's what makes it so difficult to grow is that you need the right amount of acidity in the soil. You need the right amount of light because it's a mushroom, but it loves heat. And like a day like today, it's really happy for a winter truffle. But it needs rain from time to time. So that's why we get those storms from here and there in the summer. And that's really important. But it doesn't like too much water, so it needs drainage. And he likes also a lot of a uh, mix of clay, limestone, and gloom, and a lot of light. So, so when you have all those six criteria together, you eventually get truffles after eight to ten years. Eight to ten years? So, yes, because when you plant a tree, like you'll see later on, you have to wait eight to ten years to find out if you have truffles or not. What I want to know is, how do I train my dog to find these truffles? The training. So the way the training is done is that Jean-Marc, when they're little puppies, they're like two, two months old, he would put a real truffle inside a tennis ball so they can play with it. They get, they get, they get used to the, they get used to the smell of a truffle in that tennis ball and they understand they can play with it. And after a while, Jean-Marc will hide the tennis ball behind the chair. You find the tennis ball, you get a cookie. Oh, so they like that. So they hide it behind the couch. You get a tennis ball, you get a cookie. <laughs> Basically, they think they're getting a tennis ball, but what they're getting is a truffle. And then he hides it, you know, farther. And then they go outside, and then he hides it outside, and so on and so forth. And then remove the tennis ball and just hide the truffle itself. You find it, you get a cookie. These dogs are pros. Two minutes into the hunt, we found our first truffle. So you, you see it right there? Yeah. That's why he's pointing at that. So summer truffle. So that's the first truffle we found today. So you can see that. That's why it's good to have two dogs, because they keep going. And here you go. Whoa, and you got a big one too. All right, smell it, make the dog smell it. So I think we got the dirt on being a truffle farmer. Sorry, I couldn't resist. <laughs> well, and that's why truffles are so expensive because they're so tricky. No one really knows how to grow them. Exactly, that's the most difficult part. I mean, a lot of places are trying to grow truffles now because it's, mm -hmm. let's face it, there's a lot of money into it. Like Australia was one of the places who try very hard, but all of the one farm, truffle farmers, there's just like two handfuls were really making any money. Yeah. The rest of them, are, some of them are starting to pull out the tree because they realize that it's just not gonna happen. We're glad the Pepin stuck with it, since it's time for the delicious part of the truffle tour, the champagne and gourmet truffle tasting. To discover the real Provence with your own truffle hunting tour, contact Lisa and Johan at lespostres.com.